Tonight, a blatant act of racism that was caught on camera. A man dressed as the Grim Reaper shoves a raccoon against a chain link fence, and the people on the other side of that fence were all people of color. Welcome, everyone, to Coin 6 News at 6. I'm Kelly Day. And I'm Jeff Giannola. Now, this shocking video was captured on surveillance cameras that overlooked picket lines outside Columbia Grain in North Portland. What you can't hear are the racist slurs that went with these pictures. Lisa Balick spent the day tracking down the story behind the video. Lisa, what have you learned? Longshore picketers, Jeff, have been out here since May when they were locked out. Now, take a look. They're still down there right now. In fact, the Portland police has come out here to monitor the situation. They want the focus to be on working conditions. However, the focus now is on racism on the picket lines. Around 3 a.m. along the fence line of Columbia Green, guards recorded this disgusting sight. A masked man in a cape and hood sticking a raccoon into the fence as dock workers shout racist remarks at the guards, all men of color. Others on the picket line were making animal noises and asking guards if they'd like to eat the raccoon. When Portland police arrived, they arrested a union member accused of animal neglect and disorderly conduct. The charges have been dropped, but the local Longshore Union says racism is not tolerated. The union says, quote, racially generated remarks or conduct on the picket line will result in a minimum $500 fine. And COIN6 has learned at least two members have been cited and will be fined. Other union members are disgusted by the behavior. We, uh, we call the members. We talked about the incident that took place. Uh, we take them in front of the membership and we make them accountable and hold them accountable for their actions. Today, Columbia Grain took action as well on its property. We were here when they put up fencing to restrict picketers' access to the guards and those crossing the picket lines. The company says, quote, while Columbia Grain recognizes the picketers' right to publicize their labor dispute and even to engage in name-calling, it cannot tolerate this type of racism on its property. Others on the picket line say no matter how scared or angry some are without work for months, lashing out like this is not okay. Now, digging deeper, I found out local Longshore Union membership is 6.5% African American. That's actually three times greater than all of Oregon. Live in North Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.